Hello friends, welcome to the video number 35 for the Excel 2016 series and well in this video we're gonna be covering how to work with shapes this is gonna be actually kind of like a complement uh, to what we saw in video 34 so if you, you didn't saw that video please go and watch that video first because many things we can do with shapes are basically the same things we saw with pictures uh, so I'm not gonna be covering that again um, I'm just gonna try to focus to, into some different things or specific things with shapes. I might be covering, repeating some of the things that we saw with pictures, but not everything. So please go ahead and watch the other video so that you can complement the information for this one. And well, let's just get started. Um, first, we're gonna uh, come here to the insert tab and in this in the ribbon we're gonna look for illustrations group and well we saw pictures on the last one this in this video we're gonna see shapes so just click in there and well basically first you are you're gonna be seeing these recently used shapes then you have lines group then are rectangles some basic shapes and block arrows equation uh, shapes flow charts stars and banners and callouts so I'm gonna click on this uh, simple line and I'm just gonna give, give a click on the worksheet and well insert uh, Excel inserts this line for me uh, it's selected so I can see these two handles what I can do is just click on any one of those and hold and then I can just move it around so I can change the the diagonal, uh, the, uh, the angle, the length, and well, whenever I see something that I like, I can just let the button go. And I can also click in the middle and I can move it around to whatever I like. Now, another way to insert a shape, uh, instead of just clicking on the, on the worksheet, I'm gonna select this double, uh, double arrow you can click and hold and then just drag so that you can first see what what is it what you're doing or what effect you're gonna be getting and then what you see when you see something that you like you just let the button go and well there is my line with a double double arrow head um, now one more I'm gonna insert just uh, an hexagon here it is. So there it is, my hexagon. Now notice that whenever we insert a new shape, pretty much like in the same case when we inserted pictures, we get a new ribbon, a new specific ribbon for those shapes. So we can insert more shapes. Again, we can click on this arrow right here uh, and we can see all the different options that we have just Take a little bit of time and have a look of what you have available available here for you to work with. Um, we can change the style of the shape. Now here, for example, you can see uh, it's already giving us a hint. Notice that we have letters in here. So if I have my shape selected, I can just uh, type text. Now, if you uh, give a double click, well, I the double click only selects the, the word. I want to select everything, so you can give a triple click. And you can see that this, um, like a contextual dialog box appear right here, so that I can work uh, with my text. I can change the font. The size, uh, I can apply bold, uh, so many, many operations, basic operations for my text. Now, another thing that I can do pretty much to, I mean, similar to what we saw with pictures, you can come here to the word styles and change whatever you like, use whatever you like. Um, what else? You even change to, okay, change, we can rotate it just like with the pictures uh, we can change the size here notice by uh, that by default 
uh, we can change independently the horizontal and the vertical so if you wanna keep the aspect of the shape remember you can use the contextual menu just give a right click and then you can use well I'm gonna come here to size and properties and here just select this lock aspect ratio so now it is locked um, what else um, okay editing points in a shape uh, oh wait I uh, skipped this one uh, this is a very useful one connecting the shapes for example if you are going to have uh, several shapes that are uh, related kind of like a flowchart you can use I'm going to use this arrow just come here to the to the shape and you can see I have these connection points right here so I'm going to connect there and if I move my shape my hexagon in this case the arrow moves with it now I can still change uh, the size or the rotation of my arrow but this one over here is already connected so it's not going to move and well that's very 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 useful when we are making kind of like a again like a flow chart uh, now editing points in a shape well again before getting into that in the contextual menu you can see that we have many many options similar to what we saw with when we work with pictures we can cut copy and of course then we can paste it we can edit the text here and uh, we can bring to front uh, send to back we have those options in here uh, we can assign a link to the to this shape uh, we can assign a macro many many similar operations to what we saw when we work with pictures now we have these edit points right here or you can come here to edit shape and then edit points now we have these black uh, points so I guess in in the in all the the vertices the vertices so that means that you can grab it from there and well just change the shape you can see these white uh, squares or handles square handles so that means you can also reshape it from there and notice it's gonna create some kind of like a curve right there so well you can do pretty funky things with with your shapes right here um, what else well we already saw some similar actions to what we saw when we work with pictures you you click control a to select all your uh, shapes remember that you can align those shapes you can group those shapes and then you can ungroup if you need to um, so again pretty similar operations to what we saw uh, when we work with uh, with pictures you can change the feel you can use a picture a gradient textures um, the outline you can change the color the weight of the of the line uh, the type you can use dashes dots uh, the effects you can give to the um, to the shape again very similar to all the things we saw with with pictures reflections and oh well that click was not on purpose <laughs> but again just play with them a little bit especially here see what this catalog has has to offer to you and what kind of shapes could be more useful to you and then just make changes play with these things a little bit and well as with pictures you will see that you can do many many uh, nice and interesting things uh, with your uh, with your shapes okay uh, so well as always I hope that this video is useful for you uh, please don't forget to subscribe uh, give it a like and and share with your friends and well as always thanks all of you for your time for watching my videos and I hope to see you on the next one